On a windy day at the University of Texas at Dallas, the School of Cognition and Neuroscience. So yes, we do build some of our devices here. Dr. Krista McIntyre and her students study how to stimulate the brain. Produce a new memory. That's to help strong, fix it. To compete with the trauma memory. So that's the gold standard of treatment for things like PTSD. But she's also a bit of an expert in this. Are you going to say hello? Horror movies and haunted houses and why people voluntarily Here's Johnny. put themselves through stuff like this. Oh my gosh, you are not attractive. Yeah, well, I mean, so, so fear, of course, has its benefits. The amygdala is the primitive half of your brain that lets you be scared. The neocortex, the opposite of that. The rational side that tells you everything is actually going to be okay. Primitive amygdala uh, brainstem system is reacting as it should and mm -hmm. charging up that adrenaline response. Making you temporarily stronger and faster and more alert. So you can get a little bit of a buzz from that, but you know you're safe. You can kind of feel empowered by that too, or like you've conquered something. And in this case, it's conquering your own fear. So if you actually enjoy this kind of thing, the doctor says, no, nothing is wrong with you. You're just getting a safe and healthy adrenaline buzz. But as for someone with a PhD in psychobiology, there will be no haunted houses for her. That's not my thing, no. But I can see why some people really like it. And in moderation, of course, science says that's perfectly okay. In Richardson, I'm Kevin Reese.